Following an application on Monday, the 23rd of October, by Mr. Metu, who is standing trial for alleged money laundering offenses, Justice Abang had issued two separate summons on former President Gulak Jonathan and former National Security Advisor Colonel Sambo Dasuki, compelling them to appear in court on Wednesday, the 25th of October. With both men conspicuously absent from court, the defense lawyer informs the court that the bailiff has been unable to effect service on Goodluck Jonathan and asks the court to order the bailiff to ensure that a further attempt of service is made. The prosecutor objects and insists that it is the duty of the defense team to ensure the service of the summons on their witness. Justice Abang, who agrees with the defense team that a singular attempt by the bailiff to serve Goodluck Jonathan personally at his home in Abuja is insufficient, directs the bailiff to effect service within five days. Lawyer to Mr. Metu applauds the ruling of the court while the prosecutor admits that Colonel Dasuki is being held by an agency of the federal government. As to what happens to good luck, Jonathan, the former president of Nigeria, the issue is that he was not served with the subpoena. Colonel Sambo Dasuki is in the custody of an agency of the federal government. And the prosecution in this case is at the instance of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So we will abide by the order of the court and see how we can liaise with the government agency in custody of Dasuki so that uh, they can produce him in court. In court. Earlier in the day's proceedings, the lawyer to Colonel Dasuki lost his bid to stop the court from compelling his client's appearance as Justice Abang declined hearing the application on the ground that the court lacks jurisdiction. We're going to look into that. We will reflect on it properly. Either we will appeal the judgment of the Court of Appeal to the Supreme Court, or we take an appeal against his own decision uh, that he has no jurisdiction. But we are going to react very, very shortly. As the countdown to the appearance of the former president begins, Mr. Metu, who applied for the subpoena to serve him, may have to explore alternative options of service including through substituted means if the bailiff fails to effect service on the former president within the next five days.